Aquarius, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Let's see what's going on for you. You will hear Fender and Frosty in the background. Those are our parakeets, and they're quite happy today because it's sunny, and they hear other birds chirping, so it's all good. Let's see what's going on. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Now we're in the near future. I have Aries. I also have Cancer energy. I have Pisces energy here. I have Sagittarius energy. You've got lots of major arcanas going on. You do. And we have Aries or Taurus. Okay, so what I've got going on here. Oh, we've got uh, Pisces again. So strong Pisces going on here. That just keeps wanting to fall down. Okay. And we have Pisces Scorpio Cancer. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle these and get these ready while I am telling you what's going on here. It's amazing. I have this wish fulfillment that somebody wants to take a risk on. Now that can be you or whoever you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future. So keep in mind, these messages may be vice versa. They may be flipped. It could be your energy or somebody coming close to you. And generally I find I pick up the other person's energy more than I ever pick up our own. Okay, so this reading is for anybody with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, okay, just keep that in mind. Your person may have strong Aquarius in their chart. You know, even though you're an Aquarius listening. So keep that in mind. You should know who is who. What I've got is that somebody's doing a lot of, you know, introspection here on trying to figure out how to take the risk, this risk towards you. And I say towards you because, like I said, I pick up the other person's energy more. But again, feel free to swap those energies. I'm seeing here that it's like I want to move forward towards you. Travel may be involved here. Now we're in the near future. I'm trying to figure out how to balance things with you. I want to come and see you. I want to communicate with you. I want to celebrate with you. I want to see you. And I'm really trying to control my emotions right now so that I can get my ducks in a row. So this is hidden from you right now. This somebody is trying to figure out you know, how to come towards you. Okay, this is somebody who has been like thinking for quite some time. This is somebody that you would never know what was going on. You know, this is the emperor. So this emperor, I always used to call this my old shifty eyes because the emperor is somebody who's, you know, they won't tell. They'll keep it under their hat uh, because this is somebody that likes to take charge. This is somebody that likes to control. And how do you have control? You don't tell anybody. That way, you know. I, 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 nobody will be able to figure out what I'm doing because I'm figuring it out and I'm keeping it a secret. I'm keeping it to myself that I'm trying to figure out how to, how to go towards, you know, you is what I'm getting. And it's a bit of a risk. So that's why I'm, I'm keeping it hush hush. Somebody's keeping something hush hush here on how to come towards you, communicate, travel towards you, balance things out. This is somebody who's been controlling their emotions and their thoughts for quite some time. They're not letting on how they're thinking, how they're feeling, what they're up to. But this person does look at you as their wish fulfillment. So again, that's either you or your person. Let's see what's going on. I'm pulling out the double deck or vintage deck. I'm also going to get your person's energy on the Tarot of Dreams deck. The mutual energies between you and them on our exclusive Shacy Prism Tarot deck. That's available at Shacy.com. Very easy. I like using that for the mutual energies. If I get time, I'm going to pull some spirit animal messages as well. Let's get into it. What is going on for Aquarius's person and them? What is the overall energy, please? Sometimes we can get duplicates here and sometimes we can get triplets here with the third deck. There's actually four decks here. Yeah, as I was saying, there's the high priestess. So there's certain things that you need to trust your intuition on. You know, you don't always know everything. This is a high priestess. Spirit is saying tap into your, into your um, intuition to figure it out. Oh, this person, this person you know, sees commitment to future with you. Okay. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the future, what it would be like to be in a commitment with you because right now they're feeling left out in the cold by you. And it can be something they said, something they did. They could have been sneaky or you felt like they were hiding things from you. They want to balance out this situation with you. This could be somebody who's already a father or a parent um, or again, an Aries Taurus. Okay. But this is somebody that has kept a lot of things to themselves. And, and I feel like maybe that got them in a bit of hot water. Okay. Let's clarify the five of pentacles. Could have been jealousy, disagreements. There could have been too many people involved in your connection. Keep in mind that can be family members, friends, um, other love interests. Could be uh, your own children. This is a father figure, parental figure. Again, not gender specific. 
you know, females can take on the role of an emperor. It could be a business owner, somebody that um, generally is in charge of a business or a family in charge of taking care of business is what I'm getting. Okay, so for some of you here, this has been a very challenging connection, okay? Because this person, you know, they didn't say how they felt or what they wanted. They kept everything to themselves. So it made you feel, I feel like they were not being honest with you, that there were secrets here, okay? Your intuition may have been telling you that, you know, there was competition, that there's somebody else. That could be as well. Either way, this person wants to balance things out. They're trying to figure out how to... Because keep in mind the emperor isn't somebody that, that shows their emotions. They're, they're quite tough from, you know, they come off with a very tough exterior because they usually handle everything and everybody. So they don't like to appear weak. So this is not somebody who's going to show you their hand. You understand what I'm saying? Clarify the five of wands for Aquarius. Okay, there you go. It's come very, it's become very clear to this person that, you know, they need to bring everything out into the open, whatever the plans were, whatever their fears were, or worries or concerns or, you know, whatever they were thinking about for the future, whatever they've been, you know, kind of being quiet about, like they need to come clean. And it's interesting because we've got the moon and the tarot uh, dice to the sun. So whatever's been out in the dark, you know, hiding there is going to come to light. They know that it's only fair that they bring everything out into the open, that either there were, you know, maybe they felt a sense of lack financially. They didn't feel they were good enough. Uh, maybe their business wasn't going well and they just felt down and out. Uh, it can be there was competition, there was somebody else, or it can be that there was just too many people involved in your relationship, around your relationship, and it caused, you know, a, a, a bit of grief here made you feel like you couldn't trust them Clar clar clarify the sun and i'm twisting my words which i haven't done all day so this person you know be might be kind of nervous to kind of bring everything out into the open or to come towards you here yeah i'm getting that with the two of pentacles should i or shouldn't i communicate with with you because like, what if you don't want to listen to me? What if it starts an argument between the two of us? Like, they're really thinking about how them coming towards you could impact you at this time or vice versa. Again, depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. While I have you here, I almost forgot, don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I really appreciate it. It only takes a millisecond, but it really helps other Aquarians to hear these messages and help guide them. And it also helps others to understand you better. So it's a win-win for everybody and subscribing is free and if you don't hit that notification bell you may never find my channel again just for those of you that are brand new always make sure the notification bell is hit so that you get future readings wow so i feel like this person's you know becoming very very clear that you know even though things are challenging five ace of wands equals the six of wands i feel like they feel like while they've been in, in, you know, thinking about things here on their own, alone, I feel like they really feel like they can overcome these challenges if they balance things out with you and come clean and bring everything out into the open and communicate, okay? Clarify the Ace of Wands, please, for Aquarius. They're missing you. They have a lot of regrets. They're really missing you, and they're, they're not ready to let you go. They don't want to let you go. They miss you. They they want to create something new with you. Um, they feel like you're the only one that gets their passion going. Okay. So this person, if they didn't before, they may want marriage and commitment with you. Maybe that's one of the issues was you wanted to move things forward. They didn't. We have the 10 of pentacles, five of pentacles. It can represent that you've been together quite some time and then you split up and they're realizing that things were not balanced between the two of you. Okay. Uh, you are dealing with an emperor. This is somebody that likes to be in charge all the time and show very little emotion. And again, they like to, you know, keep a lot of the things to themselves. And they're realizing that they really need to be more open in order to be happy and successful here and move forward towards a new beginning with you. Wow. That's what I'm getting. Let's get your person's energy on the other deck. Again, this can go vice versa. So... Personal readings are open at shacy.com, so you can check that out. Check out the reviews. 
What is going on with Aquarius? This person of interest. Everything you could ever want is down below in the description area. By the way, when you hit the little arrow down button where it says more, it'll open up a whole window that's got the website address and um, everything you could want. Thank you for donating to the channel. For those of you who have donated, it's never expected, always appreciated. Interesting, we got the Page of Swords and Six of Cups came out in reverse. Okay, so, you know, this is kind of like, I've been keeping an eye on you and I feel like, you know, our, our soulmate connection is not working out here, you know, and they regret that it hasn't been working out. But again, like I want to reiterate that they feel like the challenges can be overcome if they bring everything out into the open and be honest with you and forthright with you. They regret not doing so in the first place, okay? So if there was interference in your connection, they regret allowing that to happen. Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse, please, for Aquarius' as person of interest? Ten of Pentacles, yeah. They feel like you're not really thinking about them anymore, but they're they're trying to figure out like, you know, how to keep an eye on you. If if there's some way they can keep an eye on you. They definitely have regrets because they feel like you two just aren't coming together. And so that's why they've gone into hermit mode so they could really think about things and they're becoming clearer and clearer on the mistakes that they made. That's what I'm getting. Clear for the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, well, this is good. If they were playing games before, oh, they're not anymore. They won't be anymore. They're, they're realizing the mistakes. Like, again, I'm seeing that they're realizing the mistakes that they made. Let's get the mutual energies. The mutual energies, please, between Aquarius and their person. There you go. Communication. So I feel at the end of the day, you both really want to communicate. And again, they're debating how, when to open up to you, what to say, how to balance things out. Because at the end of the day, you both want the whole enchilada. You want the happy home, the happy family, the happy life. But there needs to be communication. They definitely are regretting a lot and they're missing you. Some of you may be seeing 555. Fire energy. You guys have a lot of passion between you two. But it can also be like a passionate love-hate relationship as well. Like things were not balanced. The emperor is somebody who can, you know, again, want to be in charge. So they can come off quite, um, you know, the in-charge personality. They're not warm and fuzzy. Let's put it that way. <laughs> heartbreak. So you've both been going through a period of heartbreak. Okay. And they don't want... They don't want to play games anymore or, you know, they, again, they, they feel like you can overcome the challenges here. I feel like they're trying to figure out a way, a way to communicate with you. How, how can this work out? How can I make things right again? Wow. One more, please, for Aquarius and their person of interest. Okay, so, you know, there's a lot of emotion between the two of you, even if you're not communicating right now. Fertility birth indicates that we want, we want something new. And it's interesting, like we want the birth of something new. Then we have the Ace of Wands. So I feel like, you know, when they think about you, they still get very excited about your connection. They feel like there was a lot of passion between the two of you. But again, not enough communication, not enough balance to keep the connection going okay spiritual awakening wow so this may have led both of you to go off to your separate corners in order to go through spiritual awakening to experience growth to learn appreciation maybe of each other to maybe learn patience this emperor has you know temperance right next to the emperor right next to the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles so that tells me that this emperor is learning how to balance themselves out learning how to balance their emotions learning how to be patient mm -hmm. and perhaps learning even how to trust their intuition as how to move forward towards you which is something that the emperor doesn't usually do Wow, marriage, commitment, tradition. So, you know, this may have been somebody that, you know, didn't didn't want marriage and commitment and you did or vice versa. And so we split up because we weren't on the same page. 
I want to clarify this Six of Cups again in reverse. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? Clarify the Queen of Wands. Well, you know, they're in, they're out, they're in, they're out. It's like you have this very passionate connection, which we saw here with the fire energy. But we also have a lot of water energy. So I feel like it was hot. Some days it was really hot, really passionate. Other days it was really emotional. So I'm getting almost like an emotional roller coaster, which makes sense here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, this is somebody that moves very slowly. It's like, I don't want commitment right away. I want to take my time. I just want to focus on the passion and the fun. They may feel like you're that way. They may feel like you you just you want excitement all the time and they want stability it could be vice versa you know again feel free to flip the energy somebody wants the excitement the passion the fun the other person's is more focused on taking it slow and wanting things more stable more grounded mm, palace of cups okay why is a palace of cups here now that's exclusive to the kiro marchetti deck right here Okay, so I feel this tower moment uh, clarifying the, the uh, Palace of Cups. Spirit is saying that this is very shocking to this person or you. Again, feel free to flip the energies that there's so much love here and so much passion that they really want to overcome these challenges. They feel like you can even though your love language is different. The tower represents shocking changes, shocking realizations, um, this is kind of like something that's hitting them like a ton of bricks. They're missing you. They have regrets. Like they're starting to realize, yeah, they're waking up. This is somebody who's waking up and realizing, you know, I miss you. I miss you. I was so focused on this stability. I forgot to have some fun and some passion and some love here. They're trying to manifest or will be trying to manifest a second chance with you. They're just trying to figure out how to do that. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So this is somebody trying to manifest. A second chance with you or you with them because it's like we see each other as the whole enchilada the happy family the happy home but we need to communicate and because our love language is different it's harder to get on the same page okay so it might be matter of like writing each other a letter or something that you can't start to fight or argue back on because it almost seems like a again an intense energy of passion but then it's like somebody's more closed-minded more concentrating on the finance the other person wants excitement so it's a it's a very opposite type of energy is what i'm getting here okay so let's start with our soulmate messages what would your person like to confess to you one two three four five messages came out so i felt like i had to take them all so let's start with number one regret wow i'm so ashamed and embarrassed i can't bear to look at you in the eyes and tell you everything I can't stand the thought of making you cry. Just let me build up the courage to confront us. Okay, so this is somebody that's living in regret. And because this emperor is not used to appearing weak, they want to balance things out, but they still don't want to appear weak. Okay, so they're trying to figure out, you know, how to come towards you and build up the courage. So even though they've got on their emperor poker face, um, they don't want to appear weak nonetheless. Okay, so they're trying to figure out the best way to do that without appearing that way next message spark <laughs> oh yeah there's a spark okay so i feel the spark has always been there that fire has always been lit okay but you have to live on more than just a spark okay we have to have a grounded energy somebody wanted to have more fun somebody wanted something more serious okay and wanted to move slowly we have the spark between us, which is undeniable and visible to everyone around us. You are the miracle that dropped into my life and lit me from within. Look up at the stars tonight and know that I'm under the same sky thinking about you. We are destined to be together for many lifetimes. We don't need to rush this love. Our love is eternal. So if one of you wanted to rush into marriage or commitment or something long term. The other one wanted to take their time. Okay. Next message. Healing. I'm healing pain from my past and I'm working on letting it go so I can be free to fully love you. So definitely this can be even like regrets from somebody's past, like before you even came along that they're still dealing with. Okay. It can be that they just have this sense of lack mentality where they never feel good enough. And then they constantly get jealous or argumentative because they're worried that, you know, if you're being quiet or secretive or, 
um, you just want some time to yourself, they might take that as a you're off with somebody else kind of energy. Okay, so as I'm healing my past and childhood trauma, I just want you to send me love and healing energy. Somebody wants you to understand that they need a healing energy. Okay, next message. Love. I want to make love to you, which you have never experienced before. Ooh, wow. I want in this me. In it. Oh my God, I'm twisting my words. This person's a little nervous. I feel like they're a little nervous to talk to you, okay? I want intimacy in every way possible with you. I just want us to know each other like no one else before us has ever known. Your touch and your voice really healed me. Wow, very nice. Okay, so somebody's definitely missing your healing that you gave them or vice versa. You're missing this person because they helped you to heal, okay? Sorry. I'm sorry for the pain I've caused you. I am sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I wanted to be there to comfort you, but I was afraid of letting you down. This is somebody that's lacking confidence. Um, they feel like something from their past has just been like haunting them, causing them to be argumentative or full of drama here. It's just this is somebody that has a lack mentality. And they need to get past that. Like I said, some of you are seeing five, five, five. And fives are all about the challenges. So there's definitely been challenges in this connection. But as I said, somebody feels like they can overcome that. Okay. If if you want marriage and they don't or vice versa, spirit saying, take it slow. There's no reason why you can't take it slow. There's a spark here. There's a, there's a need for healing here, a need for patience here, a need to balance things out. You don't want to rush into marriage and then you end up ending that marriage because there's all these differences you could have hashed out beforehand. So there's definitely need to communicate and, you know, work out your differences um, because there's challenges doesn't mean that it can't work out. You can have a second chance. Judgment is here. However, this is also about waking up and going through a transformation and realizing that you have a different love language and we actually need to communicate. Okay, having a spark in the passion is not enough. We have to know how to communicate, especially when you have two different love languages. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonates for you. Send me much love, much light. I will see you all again next time. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button. It truly only takes a millisecond, but it really helps others to view these messages and get them out there to other Aquarians, okay? And cross watchers, you know, we couldn't do this without you. You learn more about Aquarius and what's going on in their energy as well. I feel it's a win-win for everybody. So thank you very much, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.